So as per our architecture diagram, if you follow from the right hand side, we have already created the SageMaker, SageMaker endpoint. We have also created our S3 bucket. Now it is the time to create the AWS Lambda function and which will go ahead and make a call to the SageMaker to get the image data and then it will save that image into the S3 bucket. So let's go ahead and create the AWS Lambda function. So let's go to our Lambda function code editor where we can edit the code. I will import bunch of uh, libraries that we need for our entire transactions. So first I need a Boto and then I'm using NumPy and Matplot library. Those are required to convert the image data. So if you see the first uh, bit of code over here, I have an endpoint name which is a SageMaker and then I have a bucket name of S3 bucket and then I have created the S3 client which we will use to create the pre-signed URL and also I have a S3 which is a resource uh, instance that we will use to create the uh, image object into the S3 bucket. Basically we are saving the image into S3 bucket. So in a, in a Lambda function you will get a handler which, which you will get an event and context and there you write a code. So here we will first log all the data that we have received. Next is uh, in order to extract the prompt from the uh, data that is coming to the Lambda function, we will use uh, data property out of the, uh, the JSON that we are receiving. So that way we will get the text out of it and I'll print it. Next, we will get the response from the text. We'll have to uh, query the endpoint. Uh, which is our size maker and there we will have the image data also. So in order to get the image and prompt out of the uh, response got from size maker, I'll have to parse the response. Next, once the parse response is done, I have the image data, I can upload it, right? So let's do the upload image. And finally, we will uh, get the URL, which is a signed URL and that we will have to return as a, as a status code 200 to the consumer. So let's first create the query endpoint, which is we have a prompt, uh, a particular text that you want to search into uh, SageMaker. So in the query endpoint, we will have to make a call to the SageMaker endpoint and give the prompt so that SageMaker will do the inference and get back to us with the image data. Next, uh, what we will do is once you receive the response from the SageMaker, we will have to parse it to extract the text uh, and the image data. So let's write a next function called as parse response. So in the parse response, uh, we will uh, load the entire uh, response body and then we are going to uh, extract the image, generated image and the prompt out of the response that we have received from SageMaker and we can return it as a tuple to the um, to the caller. So now we can uh, have an image and prompt. So let's create an upload image where basically we will use this prompt to rename the uh, image name and then we will save the image into S3 bucket. So upload image is nothing but uh, the image saving into S3 bucket. So let's create that method quickly. And in this method, we will first uh, uh, print out that we are going to upload into image and we will use the uh, plot library to just convert the uh, image data into the buffer by putting the proper um, size of it and then putting the title on the image as well. Next, what we will do is we'll uh, buffer the data, uh, image data, so that we can uh, save it into the S3 bucket. So you can notice here I have already buffered the image data. Next step is I will have to go ahead and uh, save into S3 bucket with the image name which is nothing but the prompt that customer has given. So let's do the upload. So in order to upload a uh, image we need a uh, S3 instance of the resource. So the line number 13 where uh, 12 line number 12 where we have created the s3 we will use that instance and we will use the object method and then put method uh, consequently to save the image into s3 bucket and finally we will have to create the pre-signed url which points to the particular image that has been just uploaded and return that url to the uh, to the customer so that they can render 
So here, when I say customer is nothing but the React application, which which will receive the URL, and that React application will basically render that uh, image into the website. So next step is um, uh, to just uh, test this code which we have written so far. Let's go ahead and deploy this uh, uh, AWS function before we test it. Once we test it, we see that there is an error coming, and the error says that the module which we are using uh, called as like uh, numpy it is not found so if you check our code base we have numpy and matplot library that we are using to convert the data that is coming from sagemaker into an image object that libraries are missing from the lambda function so in lambda function uh, if those libraries are missing we can always zip those uh, python library and upload with the lambda function However, the best practice is to create the layer in the Lambda. So layer is a concept which basically uh, allows you to upload any kind of binaries that you can uh, share across many Lambda function. So in our next video, I will show you how to upload those two binaries uh, via the AWS Lambda layer functionality. So see you in the next video.